Hi guys, welcome to Nerd Bites, and I'm going to give you my views and thoughts on the footage that was released at uh, Comic Con for Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. So, we didn't get a trailer, um, I was kind of looking forward to seeing another trailer, but we didn't get one. But what we did get was a production shot, basically, like a, a load of footage from behind the scenes, uh, loads of new bits and bobs throughout this video, and just really trying to capture how magical this and it is magical how brilliant this film is going to be and how much of a big deal it is in cult history how much it's it's affected so many lives and that it's it's not just for us geeks everybody knows Star Wars 99% of the people I know love Star Wars and it's just it's ingrained through our culture and I think they tried to display that through this production video of how much of a big deal it's going to be when it finally gets to cinema they're talking about real sets real monsters practical effects all this kind of stuff as well as your digital stuff here and there. Um, Mark Hamill goes on basically saying everything's changed but nothing's changed really. It's basically putting one foot in the old and one foot in the new. It's it's keeping it fresh yet making it familiar as well. And I think that's what JJ Abrams has, has encapsulated so far really, really well. And it shows it really well in this video. We see some bits and bobs of new footage. We see a few new monsters here and there. We've seen that Simon Pegg is definitely in the film in some capacity and obviously he's a massive uh, Star Wars fanboy just like myself and everybody else and he's like us in the stories if we got the chance to be in Star Wars he's just geeking out over it and I love that. We've got a few new shots we can see like a stormtrooper taking a prisoner down a corridor, we see him a flame trooper blowing a flamethrower, uh, new monsters here and there, we see Kylo Ren go down the ramp with smoke stormtroopers either side which is very reminiscent of Vader obviously whenever he went down the ramp of a spaceship that was awesome. You've obviously got um, different actors talking about how special this is to them, how much of a big deal it is to everybody. Um, you also see JJ uh, Abrams talking to everybody in the cast or everybody in the crew that day or day one of Star Wars filming and that's got to be a big deal when they were sitting there and it was day one of filming that you're trying to show how special it was. We get confirmation that Daisy Ridley's character, Rey, is actually flying the Millennium Falcon at some point during this film. They've got the kind of contraption where it all moves and she acts with it inside, just the, like, the, the pod area. And you can definitely see that she's uh, controlling it. So that's awesome. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that ties into the story. That's going to be cool. It's a great scene they showed as well. The Stormtroopers with explosion going, they're flying over. Again, it wasn't digital. It was real people with wires flipping in the air. And I, I like the fact that they're carrying on with this practical effect, this realism, because you can tell what's real and what's not. I'm totally fine with CGI in certain places because I think CGI has come such a long way, but we still need all those practical effects as well. And the fact that we've got a perfect marriage between the two of them in this film is brilliant. And also, of course, at the end, we see Han Solo sitting down into the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, and it just it gives me goosebumps, the fact that I, I'm going to see this amazing character taking control of this ship again and seeing it on the big screen. I just, I can't wait. And yeah, this video makes it feel special, makes it feel like a big deal. So that's what I thought of the uh, production behind the scenes video of Star Wars The Force Awakens that they showed at Comic Con. Um, yes, I have seen a few other uh, things that were leaked from Comic Con, like the Deadpool trailer, the X-Men Apocalypse trailer, the Suicide Squad trailer, but I'm not going to be reviewing those until they officially get released on the internet as a proper HD full version. So you'll have to wait for those, unfortunately. Um, there won't be any more videos for the rest of this week. Uh, I'm going on holiday for a few days. Um, so when I get back, if there's anything that's released between that time, I'll have to do it a few days later. Uh, but I will be doing a review of Ant-Man when I get back, because I'll be seeing it the second I get back from my holiday. So you have to look forward to that. So let me know what you thought of the uh, the footage that we got from Comic-Con. Uh, let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me on the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or you can find me on moviepilot.com. Just type in Nerdbytes and you'll find me anywhere. And of course, keep it nerdy.